Good evening and welcome to this today's service. My name is Julia Melgreen and I serve as the pastor at Champaign First United Methodist Church and I am glad you have come to try this worship experience. I hope it touches you deeply. It'll have a lot of elements that you already know. Worship, uh, scripture reading, and song, and prayer. Those are components of this service like every service you've gone to. But it's got a different purpose. It's intended to help you as an individual more than as a congregation, but as a person who is trying to draw closer to God and have your spirit go deeper with that. The songs that you hear tonight will repeat. You'll hear the lyrics and then they'll repeat and then they'll repeat a couple more times. And during those repetitive times, it gives you a chance to, to relax. It gives you a chance to release. It gives you a chance to be in the moment and to let God into your heart and to your spirit. I hope that as we go through Lent and you attend these Tese services, that your heart does grow closer to God and that your spirit does grow deeper. Thank you so much for coming tonight. I am grateful to Barbara Zacco for putting these services together. I'm grateful to our youth who were an inspiration for them, and I'm grateful to be able to lead them. Thank you so much. Come and fill our hearts with your peace. You alone, O oh God, are holy. Come and fill our hearts with your peace. Alleluia. Our reading from Psalms tonight comes from Psalm 100. Give glory to God, all the earth, and worship the Lord with cheerful songs. Go up to him, repeating shouts of joy. Remember that the Lord is God, for he made us. We are the work of his hands. We are his people and the sheep of his flock. So come into his gates giving thanks and enter his courts with songs of praise. Bring him thanks. Sing praise to his name. See how the Lord is good. See for eternity his love. He is faithful age after age.
In the Lord, I'll be ever thankful. In the Lord, I will rejoice. Look to God, do not be afraid. Lift up your voices, the Lord is near. Lift up your voices, the Lord is near. Our first reading is from the Old Testament, the book of 1 Chronicles. O oh, give thanks to the Lord, call on his name, make known his deeds among the peoples. Sing to him, sing praises to him. Tell of all his wonderful works, glory in his holy name. Let the hearts of those who seek the Lord rejoice. Seek the Lord and his strength, seek his presence continually. Remember the wonderful works he has done, his miracles, and the judgments he has uttered. O offspring of his servant Israel, children of Jacob, his chosen ones. Oh, 
Our second reading comes from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 17. On the way to Jerusalem, Jesus was going through the region between Samaria and Galilee. As he entered a village, ten lepers approached him. Keeping their distance, they called out, saying, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. When he saw them, he said to them, Go and show yourselves to the priests. And as they went, they were made clean. Then one of them, when he saw that he was healed, turned back, praising God with a loud voice. He prostrated himself at Jesus' feet and thanked him. And he was a Samaritan. Then Jesus asked, Were not ten made clean, but the other nine? Where are they? Was none of them found to return and give praise to God except this foreigner? Then he said to him, Get up and go on your way. Your faith has made you well. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Will you join with me in prayer? O oh, Jesus Christ, born in humility to raise up the humble, you lived among us, healing the sick, proclaiming good news to the poor, and freedom to prisoners. Jesus, you are kind and forgiving. You carry for us all that is more than we can bear. Jesus, gentle and humble of heart, you call all who toil and are burdened. You came to loose the chains of every captivity, friend of the poor, bread of hungry hearts. You came into the world not to be served, but to serve and give your life. Jesus, by your resurrection from the dead, you live forever, to walk with us on the road to your Father and our Father. We lift our voices together in the prayer that Jesus taught his disciples, 
Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. We continue in an attitude of prayer. O Christ, you take upon yourself all our burdens, so that freed of all that weighs us down, we can constantly begin anew to walk with lightened step, from worry, worry towards trusting, from the shadows toward the clear flowing water, from our own will toward the vision of the coming kingdom. And then we know, though we'd hardly dared hope it, that you offer to make every human being a reflection of your face. Walk with me, I will walk with you and build the land that God has planned, where love shines through. Thank you. 